day two of the International Quizzing Championships and it promises to be a very long affair. Quizzing starts at 9.30 in the morning and carries on until midnight with the brutal club championships. How will it get on? Well, let's see. So straight into the action with first the television quiz, followed by pop music, and then geography, and finally literature. So we have the specialist quizzes this morning, and I guess I peaked early. Um, I think I came equal six in the television quiz, but thereafter it was a slippery slope as we went down through pop music, geography, and into literature. But, you know, good to get one good result this weekend. Galen, congratulations, you won the television quiz. How does that feel? Uh, unexpected, but I'll, I'll take it. Very welcome, thank you. What do you think um, you know, helped you win such a kind of diverse and international um, TV quiz? Reading the question, having a few lucky guesses, you know, paid off, I guess. And on to the individual quiz now, the big one for many people. Okay, Praka, what's your hopes or expectations for the individual quiz? I hope to be, let's say, in the top 40 or maybe top 30 if everything goes well. How are you feeling ahead of the individuals? Pretty good. <laughs> just, just got done with lunch, took a walk, um, tried to clear my head. So It's been a good weekend so far for America, though. It has been. It has been. We have yeah. never made the finals before, so this yeah. is, we are all very excited about it. Well, best of luck. Thank Let's see how you. it goes. Yeah, I just came here to prove that I'm still the best player in the world, and I think I did so well this time. <laughs> no, that was a joke. I'm trying to avoid being last. <laughs> First up was a 100-question qualifier, followed by a final for the best under-30s players, with questions last to four groups of five questions. And the under-30s champion was Dow Jackson of England. And then on to the final, contested by the top 10 players overall from the qualifying quiz. We have in a joint third place, Sarah Kaleva and Victoria Gross. As people wound down after the quiz, we caught up with Dan Cotiga. You've just won the uh, individual competition of the International um, Quizzing Championships. How does it feel? It feels a bit surreal, but, but good. Mm. A lot of work's gone into this? Uh, some, but last year and <laughs> the year before that. This year, not too much, so I'm very surprised, to yeah. be honest, but I don't know. And you'll be back next year to try and defend your title? I'll be trying, but that's going to be hard. Well, this was hard as defending it's yeah. impossible. Well, congratulations. A fantastic achievement. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. The day concluded with three hours of team quizzing. Some final thoughts on the day from Brandon Blackwell. Right. The Saturdays is that these things are mostly individual. So uh, a lot of people spend the entire day kicking themselves. But the questions were good, and a lot of people played really, really well. There was some good stuff, and the club competition is always fun. It's like less pressure than the nation's aspirational one, so it's always nice to get to play. I mean, I played with people that I very rarely see at all, so Saturdays that these things are always fun. On to Sunday and the final day of competition.